Okay, everybody. Um, let's see. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and the Blackest Heart, both published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I am going to show you my book haul for October of 2021. This is the one year anniversary of the first book haul I ever did. We started in October 2020. Now we've done a full year of book hauls. Let's give me a round of standing ovations for that one. Or whatever. It's quite an accomplishment if you think about it. Anyway, I usually buy between five and 20 books per month. This month I've got 16, a relatively, you know, average middle of the road number. And so let's get to the 16 books and I'm leaving the best for last because I've got another massive, massive graphic novel omnibus that I purchased this month that I'm going to show you. So stay tuned for that and some classic science fiction. Anyway, let's get right to it. Book haul. October. It's October, right? This is, we're doing the October one. Yeah, October 2021. So I bought DJ Butler's Serpent Daughter. This is book number four in his Witchy Eye series published by Bain Books. DJ Butler is a good friend of mine, and um, I try to support all of his books. And you got it. I mean, Every one of the books in this series, and it starts with Witchy Eye, and then there's Witchy Winter and something else. Um, Witchy Woman. I think that might be another title of one of the books. But um, this one is Serpent Daughter, and um, every one of them's got just a beautiful cover by Don Dos Santos. And he is one of the up-and-coming great, great illustrators working today. And this is a beautiful illustration. I love this. So this will go in my DJ Butler collection of witchy eye books. Now these books are fantasy novels set in the old colonial yeah, civil war. If you've read the seventh son series by Orson Scott Card, it's kind of like that. That's all I can compare it to. We will move on. Because we got 15 more books to talk about. Okay, I also bought, in the month of October, book number three, or is it book, I don't know, is book number two in Joe Abercrombie's second trilogy of The First Law. This trilogy is called The Art of Madness, and this is The Trouble with Peace. I have not read book one, though I have read the original First Law trilogy. I have not read anything in the second trilogy. So if you love these books, drop a note in the note dropping area of my video and tell me that these are good or not. I, I imagine they're good because Joe Abercrombie's just fucking dope. So how could they not be good? But I will eventually get to reading this second trilogy and we will leave some review on the channel at some point. God, my face is pasty. I changed the lighting in here a little bit. Not that my lighting was ever great. But I think that I made it worse. I mean, we'll get the production values on these videos fine-tuned to perfection another day. Okay, I also bought Peter Aykroyd's History of England Innovation. This is volume six of Peter Aykroyd is an amazing, amazing historian. He has done a six-volume history of England. And, oh, my God, it starts from, you know, Neanderthal days, and it goes all the way up to present day, and he's six volumes into it now. I have loved every single one. So if you want to know every single detail of the history of England, just get Peter Aykroyd's um, History of England series. This is book six. I think that the Roman numeral V1 is 6, I believe. Okay, then I got, I also bought C.J. Sherry's Divergence, which is book number, I think it's book number 21 in her Foreigner series. And I've read the first two books of the 21, and I've left reviews for them on the channel, but I have 
now, but I've bought them all now. So the, I've got all of them. I've got all 21. Uh, so we'll see. I The first two books were great. I don't know what the other 19 are like. Okay, I also bought another historical novel. I've heard a lot, and this was based off of a recommendation one of you all gave me in the comments section of one of my videos down in the where you leave the comments. And uh, someone told me that I should start reading because I love Russian history and Russian literature, like War and Peace, Dostoevsky. And they said, man, if you want to read some great Russian history, read the four books written by Robert K. Massey. So I thought I would get the first one. This might be the second one. I can't remember. I think Peter the Great was the first one. This is Catherine the Great. I don't know. We'll see. I have I have no idea what I'm getting into with this, but the book looks magnificent. It's like, it's like literally like 600 pages of Russian awesomeness. Might suck also. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so John Grisham's new book came out in October. I went ahead and got that. That is The Judge List. I love John Grisham. I've got every single John Grisham novel over there on my shelf. In, um, just so you know, you, you know, I always show people my library. So my, the, the John Grisham books are down there in the corner somewhere. But my library is huge. We've got tons and tons of books here. And um, we'll put the camera back. Okay, let's see what we got going here. It just it, something seems off. I think it's the fucking lighting. Well, anyway, that's the book I bought in uh, October. Oh, and then I bought uh, the first twenty-one by Nikki Six. This is the biography of Nikki Six, the bass player of Motley Crue. You can see my review. I read. I bought this in October. I reviewed it and left a review somewhere on my channel. Just type it in. The first 21 Nikki Six Durfee review. I swear to God the video will come up if you type it in exactly as I told you to. Now, this is a great book. It documents the first 21 years of Nikki Six's life. And I loved this book. Just go watch my uh, review on... Uh, Elsewhere on the channel. I'm going to set these down here because we're going to run a room. Here, let's see what we got going. Okay, so then we've got also, um, I got The Marked Man. Book number 30 or some odd in Richard, or uh, not Richard, Archer Mayer's Joe Gunther mystery series. It's a mystery series about a police officer up in Vermont. And it's great. And I love this Vermont scene cover. I love it. Um, so anyway, we will uh, probably uh, read that eventually and put up a review. I also got Code of the West by Aaron Latham. This was also a recommendation that one of you all gave me in the comment section on my uh, on a Western novel that I reviewed. And um, I liked the recommendation. This is basically... King Arthur in the West. In other words, it's the King Arthur Knights of the Round Table story told, but with cowboys and gunslingers and stuff like that. So I'm actually kind of interested in seeing how that plays out. It might, it, I, the, whoever recommended it said it was dynamite. So I'm hoping that it is dynamite. All right. Oh, this is cool. John Le Carré. Silverview, probably the last novel we'll ever see from John Le Carré. John Le Carré was one of our great thriller writers. He was about 95 years old and he just passed away. And this has probably will be the last book that we see of his. Silverview. Oh, you know, a moment of silence for the great John Le Carré. Let's get to the next books. Okay, here we go. Now these are, this is a series of books um, that I have been eyeballing and wanting to read since I was a teenager. And I finally found some really nice copies of them because they might be out of print now. But that's the Robert Silverberg, Lord Valentine's Castle series. This is book one. Um... This is book two, Mahapur Chronicles. 
This is book three, The Sorcerers of Mahapur. And book four, Valentine Pontifex. I don't know anything about these books other than they have been around in the bookstores since I was a little kid. And I've always, always been meaning to get them and read them. Finally did so. Let's see how it goes. Okay, Inhibitor Phase, the new Alistair Reynolds book. I got this in October. I was going to read it the day it came out, but then I started reading other stuff and I just... So this one, I don't know when I'll exactly read it, but um, uh, this is his brand new book. came out in October. And if you know, and if you followed my channel, I've reviewed some Alistair Reynolds books already. And I think the dude is awesome. Now let's get to the coup de grace. Where is it? Oh, here it is. If, as you know, I don't read comic books, never have. I don't get into graphic novels. However, I did read and I did buy, and if you saw some of my, re my review of it and some of my other videos I've talked about, the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic omnibus graphic novel that I bought and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And so... With doing a little research about these Star Wars graphic novel omnibuses, I was turned on to this next omnibus. And if you've read it, let me know. But it's the Dr. Afra omnibus. I guess, from what I hear, this is the most zany, interesting character in the entire Star Wars universe. And she, uh, she's a doctor. I don't know what she is. I don't want to speak on it because I haven't read it. Um, this is the, on the back it says, Everybody Loves a Rogue. This is a funny, quirky take on the Star Wars franchise. And so um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to read Dr. Afra Omnibus. I mean, this is about as big as that Knights of the Old Republic Omnibus that I love so much. So, yeah, if, if, you, if you liked Dr. Afra. If you're a fan of Dr. Afra, drop a note in the note section comment area of the video and let me know what you think of it because I'll probably be reading this soon. I am right now in the middle of my Neil Gaiman Sandman omnibuses. So I'm in the middle of that right now. So we'll get to this one. Hey, that's it. That's the 16. That's the 16 books I bought in the month of October 2000. 21.